Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Uh, I'm actually curious to see which uh, character Eon's going to go. I mean, he's always been true to Fox, but he's, he's got a Pokemon trainer. He's got a Joker as well. Yeah. So I don't know where he wants to push his game right now. We'll see. I mean... Did someone actually put in their name as just blank? That was uh, Floppy. That was Floppy. Okay, yeah. okay. Gotcha. Alrighty. I didn't even notice that. So, yeah, the four Mies attack is going to be uh, Eon. All right. I think they're trying to figure out how to switch control reports. I think the other one has to be player one. Yeah. Okay, there we go. All right. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying a good time so far on the stream here in Genesis Black. We've seen a lot of players just... Eon uses get... the same controls as Larry? I think so, yes. I guess so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. They do use the same controls. And Larry's tag is Orca because he likes... Oh, wow. Games. Okay, it's Pikachu. Um, I'd say that a lot of people think that this is probably one of Joker's worst matchups. I think just any short characters or characters that can low profile are just bad for Joker. Like Pikachu, Pichu, Inkling I think actually does pretty good. Like all of them can kind of navigate around his hitboxes and deal with his speed a lot better than other characters, yeah. you know? Pikachu's backer is easily, in my opinion, the most underrated broken backer of the game. It can shield poke, it low profiles after the landing, multiple hitboxes, and it's pretty fast. I don't know, man. He's out there, fl he's out there flipping around like a frisbee for a reason. Yeah. All right, buddy. Let's see how it goes down. Not doing too bad on either side, but Arsene is almost available. You got to be careful about those Thunder Jolts as well, because you can just Arsene them and then, or excuse me, Rebels guard them and yeah. then get Arsene very quickly. Good use of empty hop there for Eon, able to just go ahead and grab solo. Yeah, that's very nice from Eon. Uh, you can already tell that he's been getting really polished with Joker. Even though falling fair one, usually you get that into a kill confirm, but he did falling fair one yeah. into grab, into down throw, and then drag down up air. Very nice stuff. It is a very hard confirm with a very strict timing to actually get to as well. So if you're if you're back at home wondering like how is every how does MKLeo pull it off so easy? Trust me, it's not that easy. Mm -hmm. And then the other side of things is uh, just run up forward smash. Like actually do a little dash and then forward smash. Yeah, it catches people every time. It just mixes them up on the timing or something. But there we Dude, go, down so, smash. I just remembered what we just talked about earlier. Pikachu was the bane of Cal Poly back at the crew battle in the collegiate. <laughs> so right now, the fact that a Solo has taken a stock off Eon and put it in a pretty even game here, I'm worried for Eon. <laughs> yeah, I think that Pikachu is definitely top five. Yeah, like it's a character that you don't see a lot of, but has a lot of great aerials, a lot of great hitboxes, a lot of great advantages. Mm -hmm. Seriously, trying to deal with a quick attack on the, on the stage is not fun. Yeah, okay, another Falling Fair 1 into Dragon Up Air. Very nice stuff. He tried to mix up and read the DI because they were at the ledge, but he actually went continue to go outward. So very nice stuff, actually. Well, he's got a lot of damage onto him now. Arson only about halfway. Nice. Let's jump back air. Yeah, very nice. Another back air. He knows he that's side guard, yeah. I don't know why he really went for side B, because I feel like quick attack is one of the most versatile recoveries, because you yeah. can change the angles how you want. But you definitely have to be very practiced in them. So maybe uh, Josh was just not quite uh, ready for it yet. All right, good back air. Puts him off to the corner here. Eon still with two stocks. Doesn't really feel much of a disadvantage pressure. Yeah, he's still got Arsene. I mean, I feel like especially like Joker is one of those characters where like you start off with like quick with your speed and pressure. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards you get attack power too. So that just adds even more pressure to your opponent. So it makes yeah. them often to make them mistakes or you know, like catch a jump or something like that. But finally Arsene's gone. Not, able to, not able to find a drag down. You did say go for a little smash. bit of a dash back and then go for a forward smash there. So you try to get him up and get up. Yeah. And like you said, right, the thing that Joker also has is he's really great at whiff punishing. And when you have your opponent pressured mm -hmm. with all the speed, the back airs, the empty hops that we do see Eon go for, it does play allow players to play into Joker's hands. Oh, no. Oh, no. The loops. He didn't quite get down to drag down that time. Yeah. Uh, he, he let the last hit fly. But still, a decent amount of damage, especially on Pikachu. You got to get what you can, what you can get. Oh, nice. And he sensed out the fact that the only recovery he can make from the bottom of the stage is that quick attack. Yep. And every every time you hear Joker win, you can hear that nice, groovy Persona 5 victory theme. Yeah. It's groovy, man. It is. I wish they mix it up. Like, the only time that you can mix it up is when you're playing on, uh, what is it, the the Joker stage? Oh, What's the Mementos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And because you play, like, Persona 4 music, then you get the Persona 4 victory theme. Oh, yeah, Persona which 3. I, I like the Persona 4 victory theme Same. the best, but Same. that's just because Persona 4 was my first Persona, so. Mine was 3, and I love some of the music from 3. I wish they brought a couple more songs from 3 and 4, um, but. Hey, man, no, no one's ever going to beat 50 from freaking <laughs> SNK. <laughs> S 
Honestly, K said, let me get all the representation, man. I want every kid jealous on the playground. Hey, man, King of <laughs> Fighters 15 is coming out. They got to get all of the advertising they can get. That is true. That SNK with the real gameplay here. Yeah. yeah if I were Square Enix, I would have told them, yo, man, put 20 songs of, of Final Fantasy. Even put the ones from 8, 9, 12. Yeah, put them all. If I was Atlas, I would have been like, yo, put in Joker, put in Kasumi, put in like three different outfits, like put in <laughs> all of the music. Like, we got to get Persona 5 R rolling, man. <laughs> but here we go. Eon already taking like a lot of damage on uh, on Solo and going to take the stock too. Just great sequence of combos, pushing to the disadvantage. And then again, that side B, you just got to mix up that recovery. You got a great quick attack that you can snap to ledge. Yeah. It's hard to intercept. But side he's B. just going for the side B, man. Side B is only great when you're that far off on the, on the blast zones. And when you're that close to him, it might be worth going for side B, especially when you're higher up on the stage, too. But unfortunately, at that situation, quick attack should be the better one. But like you said, it's possible that Solo isn't really versed in getting the timing to get the ledge for him, and he doesn't want to overshoot or undershoot it, where he might miss the grab on the ledge. Okay, I like that Eon kept holding down Rebel's guard. He's like, maybe he'll try and forward smash it, and I'll just get Arsene. Preferred. But he went for the, but he went for the guaranteed grab. I like that. Yeah. No, no uh, back here yet. I do like the fact that every time Eon understands he's getting crossed up, he goes for an air, he jumps out of shield. The only reason why is he might try to confuse his opponent for going for things like dare, empty hop grab, and things like that. He'll use a four air. This is bringing it pretty much down to Solo's last stock. Oh, I was gonna say, is he giving up, man? Don't let, don't let go of the control stick. Just no, yet. man. He just, he just really wanted to try and get that dare. Everyone's really hungry for Dare today at this tournament for some reason. That is true. Yeah. Well, let's see. You're right, man. Everybody wants to start toasty. You look highly real. Yep. Okay, there we go. Back throw him off. Get the gun. Just a little bit. Of, it's like it's like Fox Laser. You just get like a little bit of extra damage off the stage. Yeah. In my opinion, almost better Fox Laser because it doesn't count as a projectile. It counts as an actual solid hit. Mm -hmm. So characters like Ness can actually reflect it, um, absorb it. All right. How does he get around this? Okay, I'll throw. Thunder? Nope. Well, he tried to. Maybe you heard me or something. I don't know. <laughs> Commentator's curse. Right. Uh, I tried to build that early. shield pressure. Not quite. He got the drag down. Mm -mm. He's not doing enough pressure there. And not only that, Eon's not letting go of shield. I think Eon's just trying to get creative on how to get this last stock. Like he had, Or just waiting for Arsene. This is one of the two things he's probably trying to do. Yeah. Arsene and like two more hits, something like that. Talk about being creative, man. He went for the, the other option from, from taking him. The one that we rarely ever see. Mm -hmm. That was good. That was good. Okay, he that wanted... sucks. <laughs> he like threw out down smash, and then he didn't get the entire hit because he got interrupted. Mm -hmm. That sucks. I do like the fact that Eon went for taking <laughs> downward, and then he almost went for a confirm. And the fact that like Solo had already lost a lot of percent there on the shield, I was going to be gone. But Eon already held the fist bump, and he said, good attempt. Uh, I'll see you Yeah, nice try. Time. Nice try again. Yeah, nice try, man. All right, so uh, both of them.